Stop on the flop. Oh, that's the one you're Oh, but here's the best part. Oh, Where's God. the kicker? I couldn't have thought that, guys. After the news, country legend Billy Ray Cyrus collaborated on the track with the young artist. Oh. Then the hit went viral. Oh, my oh. God. Fucking Billy, why? Billy, you're killing me. But yeah, country legend. You got it broke my heart, Billy! My achy, breaky heart! You tear me apart, Lisa! <laughs> God damn it! Alright, anyway. Oh. So, if and I really do want this mission, there's one problem. I feel like I need the time stop, though, alright? I would say, usually, I usually go recommended time stop, because things don't fucking move! Yeah. You just need good jumping. As long as you got that, you're fine. Anyway. With that in mind, kill me! So. <laughs> Alright, so here's where we get the actual lyric. And although it's popular, many people still seem to mishear the song's lyric. Take my horse uh, to the old town road, which is a fucking chorus, mind you. Oh, boy. As take my horse to a hotel room. But take my horse to a hotel room? That's what it's supposed to be? That is. That's what it's supposed no, to no, be? No, 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 they just took it as. Oh. Oh. oh I, I mean, I never, I never mistook it as that. Take my horse to a hotel room. That incorrect Ow! Players, all, all, already has over 150 million search results on Google. Ow. Look at how Wouldn't you? So, Why do you hate this world so much? Wouldn't you like to? So, for the next one. So, okay, what they label in this list is, and I quote, an episode of Friends uh, may be a partially responsible for this popularly misheard lyric. Guys, they meant the song first, but they'll call it. Yeah. What is it? So, I, I, so for years, it's been a running... And I can definitely vouch for this since I've I watched Michael a lot. Okay. Okay, thank you. For years, it's been a running joke that the Elton John, that Elton John wrote his 1971 song, Tiny Dancer, about Tony Danza. Oh, this is what I think uh, it is. One of the songs, I get the feeling I know exactly what it could be, but... Lyrics. Yeah. Let me, let me just say something. <laughs> Simpsons. Is that song on there somewhere in the list? Oh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see eventually, maybe. Yeah. An American actor well, known for his work in Boss and Taxi. This gag is said to have started after a character sang uh, the mispronounced lyric on an episode of Friends and sang the song as written by. Or, uh, said the song was written by about Danza. There's only three points down there if you're really the trying to go get them. This lyric comes from the line. What about the boxes? That's what I meant. Three points in that box, that's it. But, all right, go ahead. You're already I mean, there. I'm not. All right. I'm gonna kill anyway. myself back. The misquote lyric comes from the line, and this is from the expert. Yeah. Hold me closer, Tiny Danza. As in, the title's a fucking song. Yeah. Hold me closer, Tiny Danza. <laughs> <laughs> Which some people oh. may miss, may Fire, hear excuse. as hold me close, young Tony Danza. Yeah. Young Tony Danza. <laughs> what do you think of the young? Where did the... Yeah, where did the young go from? <laughs> was it just something that he sang out loud? I think I think it was I think it was just something. It was an episode of Friends. I know. Was it something yeah. he sang out loud? Okay. I'm guessing. I guess for future, for future reference, future MJ ep episode that's starting here. I'll mention the name, but not showing the episode though. Yeah, cause you know. Yeah, no, I'm saying episode title here. That's All what right. I'm saying. Fair yeah, enough. I didn't know that was what you were saying. I keep forcing well, to have- What do you think what I said was a misheard you son of a bitch? Oh. Oh, God! Yo, a bunch of idiots. I've lost one of you! I need more runs! Anyway. Next <laughs> one. Nails with blank space as a mis- as a misheard line that seems to mention a major coffee brand. Eh. Huh. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So. 2014, Tales with the uh, theme Blank Space Hog made headlines when scores of radio listeners, and uh, per a now deleted tweet, even Swift's mom herself misheard the, the lyric at a long list of ex lovers as yeah. All the Lonely Starbucks Lovers. All the Lonely <laughs> Starbucks Lovers. <laughs> wow, that was so bad that Mario killed himself. <laughs> No, it's like the, uh, hey guys, I fucked this shit. I had to clean out the trash. <laughs> I am not trash! 
Naturally, Starbucks... I'm from Mario! <laughs> yeah, naturally, Starbucks was seemingly surprised and presumably disappointed to learn that uh, it was not included in her song per a 2017 video from the cut. The reason these lyrics are so misheard uh, could have to do with one's expectations and placement of the song beat. Uh, fucking stupid Starbucks. Where their CEO is, I was trying to run for president. Asshole. <laughs> No, not after what I heard about Amazon. He can join the club with the Amazon CEO. Bezos? Yeah. Yeah. So, the next one. The Lady Gogos is a single, Good For You, was a 2015 hit, but some fans misheard the song's opening line, I'm 14 carats, which refers to diamonds, Right. as, and I quote, I'm 14 carats. That's kind of funny. <laughs> That's how it's painful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's 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 important. Yeah, I can <laughs> In an interview with BBC Radio One, uh, Scott Mills, the singer, laughed at the incorrect vegetable forest lyric and said the radio host may be mishearing it because of their English accents. She also confirmed that the I'm watching was... cats. <laughs> you know, when you say it like that, actually, I can actually hear it. Watching cats. <laughs> I hear it actually. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she also confirmed <laughs> that the lyric was, I'm 14 parents. Well, I would hope she would confirm that. Yeah. Also, another song. Please, I noticed those are pop songs. I yeah. wonder why. So, the song. <laughs> yeah, and yet another lyric was half, where people misheard part of playing over the song, but part wants what it wants. Okay, I've heard of that, but I care for it. Yeah. But... Okay, this this was actually kind of funny. Oh god. In the song, a distorted version of Gomez's voice sings what the heart wants a few times, but people have hilariously misheard the lyric as both what the fart wants. Fart what? <laughs> oh god. Lori is a Shrek fan, huh? Or fart what? They knew much of that. Or fart what is a popular film from the 2001 Shrek movie. Uh, following the single release, some people even made YouTube videos that came to the truck villain. With the fucking song, oh. God. <laughs> like, Gomez's like, like, lyrics. Farquaad. <laughs> uh, does, does he just reference him? That would be me. Farquaad. Oh, dude, this one's coming. Alright, so oh, yes. now infamous meme, Justin Timberlake's, uh, uh, Picture or line in the insane song, it's gonna be me. Careful, is, this is where's the pointer of follow? They go to the platform that you basically came from. Yep. So just run back from where you came from. Yep. And you'll see them. They're all here. Yep. You got them all. So, anyway. Now just survive. Now, what if it was mean that Justin Timberlake said, picture or song in the insane song, it's gonna be me? It's not, it's gonna be May. I oh, lived! I will never die! Ooh. Not yet! Despite, I was gonna say, you're going the wrong way, but at least you're Despite what our ears uh, seem to be telling us. I wanna go back this and This misheard lyric has become a popular meme that comes around annually, just, just before the first day of May. <laughs> Over the years, even band mem members of the band have gotten in on the fun by posting Instagrams of the misheard plot. Fair enough. At least you can joke about it. I do like Justin Timberlake, though. Is that the one you were thinking of, Koji? No, I was thinking of another one. Okay. A very protective one. Ow! Healer! Um, so. This popular Bon Jovi song, I think, well, I guess which one it is. Living out of play. Living out of player. Or prayer. I don't fucking know. Right. Seems a simple enough for when it's repeating lyric. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, oh, living on a prayer. But it is still misheard, whether deliberately or not. One of the most famous misheard iterations is Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa, Squidward on a chair. Okay, those guys, you must have really bad hearing. Yeah, yeah. there's no way. Somebody's probably just. Probably somebody did. I feel like that was intentional, though. Yeah. That one feels intentional, because I, I can't do that. Yeah. I can, I can understand something like, you know, like, Prairie, 
or something close to that decline, but... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, Scrimmer is a popular character from the show, the Sunflower Scrimmer, compared to 1989. Montage Zone was released in 1986. So no, this track, but uh, not a tribute to the animated tentacle creature and furniture. Yes. In 2016, there was even a viral Twitter trend that involved making memes out of things that sound like they could be the song of Living on a Prayer lyric, including Blizzard on a Chair and Lemon and a Pear. I, I'm sad that I actually remember part of that. The only Squidward meme I remember is I'm Squidward. Oh, here's a fun one. Is this the one? So, some people seem to have a bit of trouble understanding a lyric from Guns N' Roses' popular 1987 song, Paradise City. Uh, oh, come on! Of course, on. I can probably imagine it a little bit. Alright, although the lyric contains the name of the song, some have thought the song blind, uh, take me down to Paradise City, yes. is actually take me, uh, to Prairie Do uh, take me down to Prairie Dog City. How many of these are starting to just get dumb? Some of these sound dumb. Yeah. Unless it's like... Cause there's one song that I'm thinking of... That... It unless you're this one. Alright, depends. Bro, so, next one. Eminem's 2013 song, Monster, featuring Rihanna. A lot of our lines is sometimes misheard. I can kinda see it. Depends what they say, it's misheard is. In the chorus... Uh, Rihanna sings, I'm friends with the monster that's under my bed, but the song lyrics are often misheard to be, <gasps> and I quote, I'm friends with the mustard that's under my bed. That's a little better. I can see it. Yeah, that was a little better. Then the other one made no fucking sense. So, back in the last one. Empire State of Mind by Jay-Z and Alicia Keys. Oh, that song. Yeah. So in 2009, has a misheard line that doesn't quite make sense. Oh no, shit! What's wrong? Oh, we're good, we're good. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, I'm just moving around. So, some have mistakenly thought the lyric, Concrete Jungle, Where Dream From Beta, My God. was actually Concrete uh, Jungle, Wet Dream To Beta. Alright, that. <laughs> concrete Jungle, Wet Dream To Beta. No, you want to go back that way. You want to go up higher. Yeah. This is the only difficult part about stopping time. Getting up here. Yep. And he just made it. Oh, sorry. You're getting up here. Yeah, this is the one for the difficult one. Because, well, chances are you probably don't want to try a wall jump. Like that. They have to. Yeah. Well, now you have to see it. Now no it should pull it off. Well, luckily you have the heart right there. Yeah, it's like this. My fate is sealed. I have. No choice. Yep. Trust me, this is still the easiest way to get 100 points. So... Right. Anyway. Go ahead. In 2018, musician Ed Sheeran said that even he was one of the many who have just heard this line of Daisy's and Keys' uh, song. His lyrics have since been immortalized on YouTube and have even become a meme. I mean, of course. I feel like a lot of this heard there. The last, very last one? And the very last one. One that I don't care for. Uh, Jones Brothers 2008 Summer Anthem Burning Up. Oh. Oh. One widely debated lyric in its chorus, and recently a fan reached out to Joe Jonas on Twitter and asked if the lyric is Baby You Turn the Temperature Hotter, or Baby Who Turned the Temperature Hotter. Baby You or Baby Who? Huh, that's not that yeah. I can't Instead of answering the question, Joe responded to a tweet asking people what they thought. Oh, oh God. for fuck's sake! Oh. Damn it! That could have been a joke one at that point. God damn it! Hang on. Well, yeah, just see how they see. Some fans uh, uh, then began speculating that uh, Let me see he was words only words. asking because perhaps he doesn't actually know what the lyric is. I see. <laughs> Others pointed out that Joe should know this line, considering <gasps> in 2013 his brother Nick famously interrupted the fans' kiss 98.5 performance to set the record straight on this lyric. You know, it who turned the temperature hotter, because everyone always thinks you turned the temperature hotter. But he said, well, I've always been curious if they know. Okay, that is weird if even the band members don't know what the lyric is. 
Or they check it. So the one that I was thinking of didn't show up at all. Then again, probably a little more obscure. You think? No, um, it'd be more. I don't think it may. I feel like it would show up just because of, you know how when he came with the one with friends. Yeah. I was thinking of another one. Simpsons mm -hmm. ring a bell. Mm -hmm. oh, Which one? I shot the sheriff, but I didn't shoot oh, the deputy. Right. I wonder. I am surprised that didn't show up because I was thinking. I was figuring like many people because when you came with the friends one, I was thinking you know they probably come up with that one too because. I mean, it's not technically saying it's the wrong lyric, but it's like... Yeah. I thought it'd be more like that, too, where it's like people misunderstood it because also Pop Pro Tour was a thing, too. Yeah, Being like, totally. like, I didn't shoot the sheriff, I, I shot the sheriff, I didn't shoot the deputy, and where the hell it was. Well, I feel like that one, at least for the song itself, it's, wait, it's more clear. Yeah. I guess what threw me off is I was thinking like maybe it was also like stuff like Help. pop culture being a thing as well, making the song. Oh, a tiny dancer! Is that the platform I need to hit, by the way? I think so. Yeah. Nice! There you go. Now just keep going along that path. Yep. The other path is pretty much a dead end, no need for anything. Oh no! Ooh. At least you lived! <laughs> I will never die. The one I always like, well, it was a live performance, but he did actually miss say the lyric, which was funny. It was a fucking Metallica concert for one of their <laughs> songs, their first album, Whip, one of the songs, Whiplash. Basically, the chorus basically ends with the word Whiplash. For some reason, in the live performance, he decided to end it with the word Dick Rash. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wow. This somehow makes it better. Now, every time I sing that song myself, I always think Dick Rash instead. <laughs> it's so fucking ridiculous. <laughs> the base of the song is about headbanging the music so hard you give yourself whiplash, but... You know, Dick Rash makes it sound a little weirder. It sounds like you're having a sexual penis. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, you're really into this music, aren't you? My god. Just pull a healer yourself. Like the song is so raw, it makes my dick hurt. My, <laughs> my dick is rock hard right now. Oh, god. Dick Rash! It feels like metal! <laughs> You're acting like a maniac! Dick Rash! <laughs> no, you don't. Uh, Where are the coins? Uh, Higher? Yep. yep. Just keep going as high as you can. Just climb. I think we might have to say the final world and yeah. the next time. Well, those, these two worlds are hard as hell, so... Yeah. And besides, we did too much today, so yeah, I feel like... Did. I guess so, but... Well, please get through this world, I guess, which... You're in the hardest... Oh, there's a coin block right there! Yeah. I think it's a good one. I think it's 10... Or it might... Uh, I don't I'm just scared to jump! Understandable. Ooh. Just have faith! Oh, it was only three, son of a bitch. I missed one. That's great. I'm scared! This place! It frightens me so! Woo! Woof. Double jump, make it most easily up there. At least that's what I would try for a double jump to pull it off. Damn it! Woo! Momentum! You trying to kill me? Platform! You're trying to kill me? I'll kill you! Yeah, it's pretty tight with just a single jump. You'd have to get it like right at the height. You just have to get the speed if you do the double. If he does it from the ledge, you might be able to back the platform. Maybe. I'm gonna try that. You have to do it from like right around the edge of the platform. Otherwise, you won't make it. When that happens. This is fucking painful! Okay. Wrong way. There you go. Yeah, you're going the right way now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die. Ow! Okay. Asshole. Yeah. No short list. No. <laughs> this is going to be a while. Yep. This might be a failure part in and of itself. <laughs> Mostly really. just me surviving. Alright. 15 things you should never, ever do in a hotel room. Oh boy. Wait, fuck. Your health and your wallet will thank you. Oh my. So, first one. Steal the bathroom. 
Yeah, that's always a fucking cliche I see in fucking movies and shows and shit. Yeah, sometimes take home essentially essential contaminated uh, M &Ms, uh, that the hotel provides during their stay, like shampoo, lotion, and other variety of vanity products. However, people sometimes take home the bathroom as well, which is a no-no. You could be charged extra or fine uh, for taking up pricier items, including linens, artwork, and electronics. Well, yeah, you, I wouldn't try to do that anyway. I usually see it as being soap and, and shampoo. Besides, it. Yeah, it's soap and shampoo. Be careful walking here. Yeah. Did he push me off? No, it, because time is frozen. Time is frozen, so they don't move. Lady, there's a lot of reasons, despite the difficult platform, why I say time being frozen is the best way to get all these coins. Because they can push me off. If time is moving. Let me guess. Now jump in there. Ten coins in there. The last ten coins are probably the toughest, because they're an annoying platform. And I missed a couple, so basically this You're alright, though. Just, just continue to make your way up. Right. Yeah, but after this mission, I'll probably call it. Alright. Yeah. Unless... There's only one more after this, if you get the mission, but don't have this one. Right. Yeah, so if we can do There's that last in there, mission... I won't follow that. Three points in there. So... All right. Three. Uh, Got it. So, no, number two. Uh, breaking something and lie about it. Accidents happen. But damaging something in your room and keeping it a secret can actually harm staff and develop future gifts. Mm-hmm. I guess one to cut his off. Well, all right. So Matthew, uh, founder of uh, the Traveler Blog .com, says I guess once cut his foot on a on a shard of glass. Hey. Well, glass is very hard to spot. Yes. Even if you know that it is there. Oh God. Okay. So although the room was clean, there was a piece, one piece of that the house we missed. There's two stars you can get. One we, is very difficult. We, the other one you can fall down a bit to go and get. We, uh, we ended up I'll get this coming. one. Alright, good luck. We, we ended up popping that man's up. Or maybe uh, I can't get it, can I? You can, but it's tough. You yeah. need the clock moving, right? Normally, yes. Yeah. But it's... You have to do some crazy jump maneuvers. It's up there. Yeah. Don't do it from down there. Do not. It can be a struggle. Unless you're really good with long jumping, with wall jumping. Don't no, no, the, the, like, the slopes are too steep. You can't do it. Even from the very bottom? The very bottom of that area? No, you cannot do it. You can, it just takes a lot of tough jumping to do. Why are you... Stupid black key to your asshole. There's one more in the yeah, other. Yeah, there's one more down there. That you can definitely get. Now, which one was that oh. again? Right. Just keep going, you'll find it. Not All there. because the previous guest didn't make the team aware of broken glass and hit it. Alright, let's keep going down. Back down. Alright, so number number three. Cook anything without a pop, uh, proper kitchen here. Yeah, I can see them being upset about that one. Yeah. We always want to save money when they travel. Uh, some guests let one bring their affordable cooking appliances with them during the stay. And this can cause a few problems, primarily if the hotel room doesn't have any ki kitchen aid area. Oh, wow. <laughs> These cooking appliances can set off a, a hotel's fire alarm system or cause an actual fire. Now go too far. Now keep going, keep so, going, good. So stick with no cook meals if you want to save a few bucks on food. Yeah, it's in that cage. Funny enough, I do have a funny story about that, actually. Oh, oh neat. Um, Just so, climb those and you're good. So, I, I've mentioned before many times that uh, my family used to do Fourth of July vacations. Yes. Uh, one year we went to uh, New Hampshire. Um, second time there. Okay. One of the last days we were there, uh, smoke alarm went off. Mm. The reason, okay, well, I guess why that went off. You guys cooking? Fire. Or no, somebody else cooking. So, so, someone in the nearby one was cooking. So we, as, because of that, we always made a joke. Oh, we always made the joke uh, because what they were cooking was bacon. We always made the joke that bacon's not ready unless the smoke alarm goes off. Mm -hmm. God damn it.